Hey guys, it's about beer 30. Let's take a walk into the kitchen and see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, welcome to Great Beer Reviews today. Thanks a bunch for stopping by, I do appreciate it. Today's beer comes from Humble Forager Brewing. These guys are out of Wisconsin. This is their Warming Hut Memoirs. Uh, a pecan pie pastry stout, Georgia pecans, Madagascar vanilla, corn tea, probably a butcher that word, cinnamon, maple syrup, brown sugar. Uh, Says it was put in the can on 042021, April the 20th, uh, 420. Uh, says rich chocolate and caramel malts blend wonderfully with the mountains of roasted Georgia pecans. A dash of corn tea, corn tea, K O R I N T J E, cinnamon, stacks of Ugandan vanilla beans, and drizz, drizzles of Wisconsin Amish maple syrup. Take an adventure with us. So, uh, this is a big beer, guys. It's a 12 percenter, I think. Uh, yes, 12 percent. So, this is a big boy's beer. And it's got a heat shrunk label on it. Uh, a lot like what uh, Hot Butcher does on theirs. Uh, it's not a printed up can, but it is a big 16 ounce can. So, more than enough to get you in the hammer lane. So, uh, over to untapped, uh, no IBUs, and their commercial description is the same thing that's written on the can that I just read to you. So, 12%, and we got the ABB, and we got the Candon date, so let's get it into the glass. Big beer, so one and done for me on this one. Oh, it's pitch black coming out, guys. Black, 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 super black. Not pouring a big head, so let's do the little swirly swirl thing that I do and see if that will increase the head factor a little bit. Maybe, maybe not. Very colorful label. Nice cascading effect, uh, reinforcing that head. And now we got about a finger and a half of head on there. Good looking beer in the glass, and guys, it is super black. I'm getting absolutely zero light through that beer. <clears throat> very, very dark. Looks good though. I mean, that's a good looking stout. To the nose we go. Oh yeah, that smells awesome, guys. It really does. Rich roasted malt. I'm getting the vanilla. I'm getting a hint of a little bit of chocolate. Nice sweetness from the uh, maple syrup. Not big on the cinnamon, maybe a very subtle. I probably get a little more cinnamon on the taste than I am on the nose. It smells awesome. It almost smells like it's been done with some lactose. It's got such a sweet smell to it. Definitely giving the uh, roasted malt and the vanillas. And definitely getting the sweetness from the maple syrup, so. Smells good. I bet it tastes good too. Let's dive in. Cheers. Yep, a little bit of cinnamon on the taste. That is a great dessert beer. Mmm, very tasty. A great final beer of the evening, which it is for me. One and done on this one. Probably a lot of calories in that beer glass right there. So, uh, like I said, one and done for me. I, I should be the only one I'll have this evening. Back in pour going in, guys. Now the sun is trying to peek through the window. 
very very tasty beer guys very very tasty alcohol seems to be well hidden for 12 percent too on top of that and I am getting the cinnamon the cinnamon is there on the taste well delicious beer well let's ride the free just go sip on it and I'll be right back all right guys I'm back I've been sipping on it for a while tasty beer I mean uh, very enjoyable beer uh, well made beer alcohol seems to be well hidden uh, I enjoyed this. Uh, big beer though, 12%. It's a sleeper. It'll sneak up on you and <laughs> put you in the hammer lane faster than you think it will. So uh, please drink responsibly. Don't think you're a macho man. You can go have several of these and drive somewhere. That would be a foolish mistake. So, I'll jump. The cinnamon is there. <clears throat> the maple syrup is there. The vanilla is there. Everything that they're claiming on the can is there. So, well done. And the coating is leaving on the glass. I mean, wow. Stained the glass. I mean, it, it did. Uh, very tasty beer guys. It's an A beer to me and that's where I'm going to give it 95 right down the middle of the A category. If you say it's a 10 beer I wouldn't argue with that. If I'd have had this beer 10-12 years ago it may have been a little too boozy for me uh, but it would have probably got a, a 10 from me so uh, well done. It is a well done beer. Uh, very sticky. Heavy mouth feel. Very nice. Very nice beer. I don't know if I would consider it a pastry stout. Maybe they're getting the pastry from the uh, maple syrup that they put in it. But it is super sticky. Very thick mouthfeel. Very tasty beer. Uh, Untapped doesn't have uh, a grade on this. Seems like they're getting more and more out of the, out of the picture. Uh, I mean, uh, I, I think the last ten beers I've done they don't have a grade on them so uh, they're they're slowly fading out whether they want to or not <laughs> uh, untapped has it at 4.13 and 861 people have uh, posted something on this beer uh, whether grades or comments or something 861 as opposed to One. I can get it to move now. I can't get it to move. I think one person had posted something on it. One. And 861 on untap. So, like I said, they're dying of slow death. Uh, so if you've had uh, this beer from... Uh, Humble Forager Brewing. Uh, let me know what you think, guys. Uh, very tasty. This is their Warming Hut Memoirs. Pecan Pie. I think it, it had Georgia Pecan then. So I mean, uh, they were probably there. I didn't get a lot of nuttiness. Maybe the maple syrup and the vanilla beans are overpowering that, but probably better but very subtle so delicious beer though very good very good beer so if you've had it let me know what you think till we meet again let's go see what's in the fridge <laughs>